Well, thank you for joining us on the National Real Estate Cafe. So where are interest going? Interest rates are, wait, you need to subscribe. You need to check us out so you can get this great information on a regular basis, such as, look at donandgino.com. This is our website. Look at all the videos, the information we have. You can click on the National Real Estate Cafe. Or you could scroll down here and check out our podcast right here mm -hmm. on the right-hand side. Mm -hmm. Uh, you could get subscribe. You go to our YouTube channel, Facebook page, live stream, tons of different ways to find all the information that we're trying to share with you to guide you to personal and financial wellness. And uh, I mean, click on the National Real Estate Cafe. Click kind on that. Cool. Look at all the great information on there. Whoop. There you go. Okay. So what's cool is these videos that we do on a regular basis are available to you on a regular basis. How is the house market doing? How is appreciation update, um, it can go on and on with all the updates on a regular basis that you can share with either your clients or your friends. This is great information. Okay, so today, wait, go ahead. But wait, I wanna challenge you to go to the website and go back to when we started the show two years ago, three years ago maybe mm -hmm. now, and see if we're right. See if our oh, predictions yeah. have come true. See if we're just crazy or if we actually know what we're talking about. And then we can talk about interest Yeah, rates. we're pretty solid on that because we really haven't missed too much because we do our homework for you and we look at the reports for you to keep you in the know. All right, so speaking in, a, in the know, one of the most important that we just talked yesterday about the housing market, that the housing market is still strong and appreciation is still happening. So one of the main things that affects your purchasing power and the ability to buy a new home or your first home is really interest rate. So let's go to the screen and give you some good news. All right, so let's start by saying this is one of Don's famous line, green is good, red is bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's very technical. Yeah, because this is these are Japanese candlesticks, which mean nothing to you, but all this is is tracking the bond market, mortgage-backed mortgage securities. That really tells the tale on interest rates, more than the 10-year treasury, which we track as well. But as you can tell, we've had more green in red, which means interest rates have improved to the best levels that we have seen in two years. Actually, go ahead and back out to a longer picture while I talk here. Okay. So what that means to you is that your purchasing power has increased because interest rates are lower. And you say, how does that work? Well, a lot of times, because the cost of interest impacts your payment more than the actual sale price, interest rate is the number one determining factor on whether you qualify or not. So a lot of times what will happen is someone wouldn't have qualified for the home they were looking to buy at four and a half, but now at 3.875, they qualify just fine, and they can now buy the home of their dreams without giving up, as Don likes to say, uh, Johnny's room or Susie's whatever. The pool, <laughs> the, the, the school, school district. district. Right, exactly. Yeah. So let's go flip back to this chart. Check this out. Now, again, you're going to go, this is mumbo jumbo. Is this, oh, this is, oh, this is the earthquake that we just had. Yeah, right. That's what it, <laughs> In yeah. California. <laughs> just kidding. So let's look at the left side of the chart that you're looking at. How far basically. back are we looking here? Two though? years. Two years. This is okay. January, basically, of, uh, two years ago. You can see where the chart as up high. High is good, meaning the higher on this chart means the lower the interest rates. So we're, we're basically back to where we were a couple of years Almost. ago. Almost. Okay. Right there a couple of years ago. So you can see that uh, the chart going down, that's when we had rising interest rates. That's when the feds were raising interest rates and talking about raising interest rates even more, which gives everybody the fear of inflation. Therefore, the value of the, the bonds were less, and then we basically had to raise the interest rate to attract more buyers. So what happened this November? to change everything, Don. <laughs> the tone of the Fed, meaning Powell, who was trying to be too cocky and was telling everybody, we're gonna raise interest rates no matter what for the next couple years. And then we're like, wait a minute, let's see what the economy's doing. Once he said, oh wait, I, I'll, I better wait to, to see what the economy's doing. And the interest rates started to rebound, meaning going down. But the reason he had to do that is because there is fear of a recession. Yeah. The R word, a fear of recession and the lack of inflation are two things that make the Fed move short-term interest rates. Now, you're going to hear, and we could probably spend hours talking about this, is that the Fed's going to lower rates, the Fed's going to lower rates, the Fed's going to lower rates. That's not mortgage rates. So don't wait to refinance your mortgage and don't wait to buy a house 
because you're waiting for the Fed to lower rates. Take and they a, are going to lower probably at the end of this month, probably about a quarter. You'll hear a half, but I, I'm predicting a quarter. Yeah, know. I think you probably only get a quarter. A uh, half would be aggressive. We've talked about them making too big a move, so maybe they just move a quarter and see what happens. And that just affects basically equity lines, car loans, and credit cards. It and short-term money loans between banks and, and right. large money transactions. But more than anything, it sets the tone that the Fed is willing to move and adapt as needed to make sure that this economic expansion continues to succeed. Now you heard right here in the National Real Estate Cafe, get these sent right to your phone by texting NREC to the number 58885. Thanks for joining us.